Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our video today. Uh, we're on our top 10 videos. So these are the top 10, our personal favorites that we've done on the channel. We've done 300 and blah, 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 20 odd videos, I think, all together now. Uh, but these are the top 10 that stick in our minds. This is one of my all time favorites. I really thoroughly enjoy doing this, uh, this extraction. You'll see why in a couple of seconds, because we're going to put the video up in a couple of seconds. But this was definitely one of my faves. I really thoroughly enjoyed this this lady came through with a blockage in one ear uh had been suffering for a little while but it had suddenly just blocked okay so that's the reason they came through the clinic i've got the big ear here to explain what we're going to be doing today um so on the big ear there's a few things i need to explain before we start this is totally the right way so uh We've got the eardrum here, ear canal here. Now, the condition we're going to be talking about today involves skin. Now, the skin in the ear canal, if you put a, de a, a dot sorry, in the center of the eardrum, the skin then migrates out from all sides to the edges and then travels along the canal wall to the outer part of the ear canal, breaks away at this point and falls out, okay? Now, when we're talking about skin traveling down, in the inner third of the ear canal, this is always just skin. You don't get wax down here unless it's been pushed down or it's backed up into the system. So we've got the inner sort of uh, bony, this is the skull. So this, this surrounds the, uh, the ear canal at this point. Then you've got cartilage on the outer point. Now what should happen is that skin should migrate all the way along here and break away here. But at this point where the skull meets the cartilage, this is called the isthmus. Now at this point, what can happen sometimes is the skin, instead of carrying on a lovely sort of conveyor belt system here, it detaches and can sort of fold back on itself at this point. Now, we know this in the advanced stages, keratosis obturans, okay? So where this breaks away and hardens up and toughens up, which could be a bit of a problem. But you can get these ribbons of skin forming here. So I'll give you enough of a clue. You know what's coming in this video now. We're going to do a skin peel or a lovely skin ribbon coming away. Um, yeah, it's a short one, but it's one of my all-time favorites. I love this video. Okay, so without further ado, let's see if we can get this up and going. There we are. We'll put my glasses on. I can't see otherwise. Okay, so this is the entrance to the canal. So what you can see here, we've got a piece of skin. We know it's skin because it's slightly translucent. And it's got this kind of ripply effect to it. Um, now, when the skin detaches and it's been in there a little bit, a uh, little bit of a time, then the skin starts to harden a little bit. So it's not this soft, floppy kind of skin. This is a more slightly tougher version of it. So we've got a good grip there with the standard size on the tube just trying to tease this out and kind of wiggle it around to get it moving. You'll see it's wiggling it back and forth. Now in most cases, don't forget your ear canal is only about two and a half centimeters, about an inch long. So in most cases, these little skin peels we get are only really short. So when I got a grip on this first section, it was sort of tough, it wouldn't come out any further. So we had to get the crocodile forceps on it, tried to pinch it as close as I could to the entrance to the canal. Oh, so breathe. As we pull this away, then you'll see it as it starts to come away, it's quite long. I mean, much longer than we would normally expect it. So we pull this long strip away. You can see that's quite, you know, that's, that's a fair length there. I didn't expect to see anything else behind it. But then when we go back in there, we can see we've actually pulled some deeper skin from further in. So we've got the standard size on the tube on there again. Getting a good grip on that there. Just pulling. Now, as we pull this away, I can start to see we've got the beginning of another strip. I didn't expect it to be too long, actually. Uh, but when we start pulling this, look at it, it just keeps going and going. This was, I remember having to take the suction tube away from the patient. See, I was actually starting to lose the, the focus on the endoscope because I'd gone that far away, um, but I couldn't get any further. So I had to go back in with the endoscope, pinch it with a crocodile forceps much closer to the entrance to the canal, and then pull again. I was just expecting an end to come out at that point. Sorry, I just lost the grip there. Um, but it didn't. It just kept going, and we ended up with more and more and more of this coming away. Look how long this piece of skin is. It's still going, and it's still going. I really didn't expect it to be this long. This is why it sticks up. Look at it, it's still coming. There's so much of it. I had to lift it up and bend it in half to get it into the camera, uh, but you can see just how long that piece of skin is. Now behind that, you can actually see, oh, sorry, I'm putting the screen. You can actually see where the, the, the outline of the skin is actually detached from the canal wall. So you can just see it there. If we just go in, there we are, just clear away some of this wax at the entrance. There you can see uh, where you talk about the isthmus there, that slight pinch look. You, do you see it in your canal? It pinches in from the left hand side. So you just see a slight pinch there. That's where it detached look. And then we've just got this one last little piece of uh, wax against the eardrum there. Difficult place to get to this one because it's right up in the top right hand corner. It's difficult to get the angle in there to get that safely done, but we got there. 
and we'll look at the eardrum. The eardrum itself looks lovely and healthy. So all that skin was migrating away from it. Look at it. That's 11 centimeters of wax. Now the first, first seven centimeters was the second strip from seven through to 11. So if that first piece we took out was four centimeters long. And we had a seven centimeter piece after that. And that's without the little bits that got sucked into the machine as well. So you look at it, great, it's paused there, that's fab. So you can actually see the full length of this. So this ribbon here, what would have happened is as it detached, it would have kind of rolled back on itself and wound around itself like this. So it all kind of wrapped around um, like a ball of string. And then when you get a hold of the end, then you pull in this, and it's slowly unraveling in the canal, all coming away. And then that very last piece then detaches from the canal wall. You can just see the end there that was left there. There we go. Sorry. <sighs> and breathe. There we go. Um, yeah, I, I mean, that is one of my... I, it sticks so firmly in my memory because you, you don't come across... You come across skin peels uh, fairly regularly. You see them quite regularly in clinic, but one that long. I don't think I've ever seen another video that contains a, a skin peel that long. Um, and certainly not one that came out in almost one piece as well. That was such, and the lady was so shocked to have that taken away from me. I remember showing her after going, this is what it was, uh, you, you know, because you don't expect something that long to fit in your ear canal. But don't forget, it's it's it, although your canal is only two and a half centimeters long, it, it because it's kind of folded and folded and folded back on itself a lot of times. That's where it comes from. Um, yeah, so it, it, yeah, I don't know what to say. That. That's brilliant. So that was uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. Uh, I'm really enjoying doing my top tens because there are some uh, videos that really stick in my memory. That was certainly one of them. Um, I thank you so much for all your kind words as well uh, from what I mentioned in the video last night about COVID-19. Um, I still hope you're all doing well and looking after yourselves. Uh, we will keep doing our top tens uh, and obviously until we can get some more new videos. Uh, but apart from that, I shall see you all soon. Take care.